demonstrative embrace, a welcome, and the sessions agreed. Most of us are able to think of a time when we would have laughed at the thought of having the First Presbyterian Church of Highland be proud and loud, or at the very least, supportive. And like Sarah, we would have been amused and thought, that will never happen. A rainbow bulletin, an out, married lesbian, installed as our pastor. Ha! Like Abraham, we may hear the Lord say to us, why did you laugh? Is anything too wonderful for the Lord? And like Sarah, we may say, I did not laugh. But God knows. We did laugh. Amen.
biblical visions and images of the rule of Christ, such as a heavenly city, a father's house, a new heaven and earth, a marriage feast, and an unending day culminate in the image of the kingdom. The kingdom represents the triumph of God over all that resists God's will and disrupts God's creation. Already, God's reign is present as a ferment in the world, stirring hope in men and preparing the world to receive its ultimate judgment and redemption. With an urgency born of this hope, the church applies itself to present tasks and strives for a better world. It does not identify limited progress with the kingdom of God on earth, nor does it despair in the face of disappointment and defeat. In steadfast hope, the church looks beyond all partial achievement to the final triumph of God. Now to whom, by whom the power at work within us is able to do far more abundantly than we all ask or think. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Let us sing together um, a doxology of praise for all of God's goodness to us.
We pray for fathers who have been wounded by the actions or choices of their children. And we pray for fathers who realize they were not always there for their children as they were growing up, but who strive to offer their grown children their love and support. And we give thanks for men who have been father roles as mentors and guides in the lives of children. We pray for those men who are about to become or have recently become fathers that they might wholeheartedly delight in their children and take an active role in parenting them. And finally, for our fathers who have died but live in our memory, we give thanks. We pray, O oh God, for men who may not have been fathers, but certainly were sons, cherished by those who love them, but not accepted by all. We give thanks for the lives of Rex Height and Clay Daltridge. For your pastors, the Reverend Howard Warren, David Johnson, David Winmer, and Juan McKellar. We give thanks, O oh God, for the laughter that we have seen and now experienced through the joy of a new day and new life that has been unleashed. May we do join the dance of laughter and joy, the dance of freedom evidenced by Desmond Tutu and Nelson Mandela when apartheid finally fell in South Africa. May we share the laughter and love and joy that rippled across our nation by so many when President Barack Obama was elected. As he rose to office, our prejudices finally fell. Oh God, we do not understand the ways of the human heart We do not understand the roads that are placed before us, the wilderness journeys. But we give thanks, O oh God, that you always accompany us and hold out possibilities beyond our imagining. That is why we lift before you these prayers and the one your son taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.
gracious unto you. May the face of God shine upon you and give you peace, for we are God's children. We are forgiven and we are loved.